last video, I showed you how to fish the Flash Mob Junior. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find high percentage places and where to fish it. So here's what I look for. It's winter time. The bass are going to want steeper breaks. They're not going to want to travel so far to eat. So a steeper break gives them the ability just to suspend up or sink back down depending on where the bait fish are. And the other thing is bait's critical in the winter. So now you know that we got to look for steeper breaks, but let's be honest, there's a million steep breaks in every lake in the country. So what makes one better than the other? Here it is. Let's say you got uh, two points that come out. The two points run out, it makes a little deep pocket in between the two points. So underwater, it looks like a giant sea. Not only is that a good vertical area to fish in between those two points, but it's a funnel spot and a stopping point. Remember that, funnel points, stopping points. So what's another good one? Dead end ditches. When you look on your topographical maps, Sometimes you see where a creek channel meanders and then it just stops. Where it stops is the holding point. The lead in going in is the funnel. These are key things to look for. The other thing I like to do, especially on uh, river lakes or, or a lot of reservoirs have main channel edges that run down. So what I look for is I look for where the channel edge scrapes against the bank and makes a bluff swings back out, so now I have a long tapering point on a bluff edge, but on the inside, it creates a pocket and a flatter spot on the inside of the point. That pocket is the stopping point. Where the bluff end ends on the end of the point is the funnel. These are the areas that you're gonna look for in the winter. This is the fastest way to isolate winter holding areas and it's a great way to fish.